Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games, and I am back from St. Louis and my trip to Miniature Market, and I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing on some cool stuff I got. So, you probably are familiar from some of my other videos, maybe Flam Rouge. I can't remember if I was doing videos back then or not, but Flam Rouge was one of the first ones that I was really excited to get and demo. It was from Stronghold Games. It is a bicycle racing game for two to four players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. You get to set up the track in all sorts of different actual famous uh, track layouts. Really cool game. I like this a lot. It's very straightforward. It's really fun. Everybody that played it had a great time. So, Flam Rouge came out with an expansion called Peloton. And I've been wanting to get this for a really long time. And I just never have done it. But since I was up at Miniature Market, it was right there in my face and I had to get it. So Flam Rouge Peloton takes this from a two to four player game to a one to 12 player game, still playing in about 30 to 45 minutes. So basically in this game, what you're doing is you're controlling a bicycle team of two. So you control two characters and you're trying to race your roller or your sprinter to cross the finish line first. So this adds two more sets of bikes, which is how it takes it up to a 12 player because you could add, each player could control one bike. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this open and show you the components. Probably more likely uh, that you'd play it at like six players as opposed to 12 players, but I suppose you could. The idea behind this and the really the the best player count for this is the higher player count because it really crams the track with more bikes so it's really fun i've also heard a lot of people talking about taking um if you play a two-player game and controlling uh two teams that way the the track is really crammed and and uh crowded so we've got basically a double-sided page here. So um, four little pages of rules. This tells you if you're playing at more than six players back here. <clears throat> this adds some really cool stuff. It adds cobblestone, it adds supply zones, um, it adds wider tracks, thinner tracks, dummy teams, I don't know what that is. So you get a lot of extra stuff uh, with this expansion we've got a deck which i'll open that in a minute but basically those are our, our decks that we need to play cards we've got more track sections normally a track section would be two i believe two wide yeah two wide so a normal track section would look like this right there. So these sections, as you can see, some of them are wider, three wide. Some of them are thinner. They narrow down. These are double-sided. And then there's also these cobblestones. I'll have pictures at the end of all the components. And these are all the extra track sections that come with it. Um, all of these are double-sided, which is great because it tells you how to set those tracks up. We got another set of bicycles. We have our pink team, and this is sort of a gray, I think it's a white team. Based on this, it looks more white than gray, but um, I will paint these. I painted all my other bikes, so We'll get these painted. This is your get this out of the way here. This is your play board. So all you do is you have your two decks, your sprinter deck here, your roller deck here. You draw your cards, you play them face down in these little cutout spots, and then you flip them simultaneously. So the game plays very fast as well. So let's open up these cards. And take a look at them. So 
So you have, these are, uh, what, do you, what would you call these? The uh, assist cards or the helper cards or whatever they are. They show you how many um, sprinter cards or distances are in the sprinter deck, how many distance units are in the roller deck. Uh, it tells you on the back about the three phases. This one happens to be in a different language. Let's see if we have any English ones here. Not English, not English, not English. I think we've covered French and German. Here's some English. So you have your three phases. Again, very easy, easy game to play, hard game to master. We've got our track cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, double sided. Stage seven, stage seven, two to four, five to six. Okay, so these are seven new maps. You can play these. Uh, one other cool thing is you can play this game over like a course for points, like they would in uh, a real bike race. So this says stage seven. This one's two to four players. This would be stage seven if it was five to six players. So stage seven, eight, nine. We've got stage. 18, 11, and 12. Very cool. More maps. And it incorporates these track pieces as well because you can tell with the, the hills and the uphills and downhills. Um, on the bottom of these cards, it has what the card is and the setup. So what map pieces you need. These map pieces all have so this one is a six it is a white there and there's a six over here that's black the other ones have capital and lowercase letters um, of the same thing so it'd be like a capital letter would be a black letter and a lowercase letter would be a white letter and that's what these sections in the base game tell you so for our decks here like i was showing you on here these are sprinters because they all have S's on the outside. So this would be, whoops. And these are all white, uh, white numbers. So this would be my sprinter deck and it would just go right there. The pink numbers here, oops. The pink numbers here would be for my pink sprinter. Those would go there. These, I do not know what they are. They have stars on them. So these are new to the expansion. They are gray. And they are stars. And then we also have these red ones, which look the same on the back. These are our exhaustion deck. So if you are leading the race or leading the pack of racers, um, at the end of each heat, you would get some exhaustion to go into your deck. So it's kind of good in this game to try to stay just behind the leaders. If at all possible, that way you're not taking exhaustion. Same goes here for the rollers. We have the roller deck, which would go there. The roller deck for pink, which would go here. We have some circles instead of stars and then we have a lot more exhaustion so if I were to take a turn in this game I would pull I believe four of these cards maybe three let me look and see I haven't played it in quite some time doesn't say on that card but I'm pretty sure I take four I play one face down and then I recycle, which would be take these and put them on the bottom of this deck face up. That way when I get to those cards again, I will reshuffle my deck and play. This card that's been played, once I play it and I move five, it's completely out of the game and I don't use it again. And that is why these are very important because I know how many fives are in my deck, how many sevens are in my deck, how many threes are in my deck for each roller, or for each uh, rider, I mean. So again, this is a really good game. Flamme Rouge, one of the best racing games I've played. It is from Stronghold Games. 
Peloton takes it up to, we'll say six players, but really it could take it up to as much as 12 players. Um, a ton of different, two new teams and a ton of different tracks and styles. So that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I, I will take pictures. I'll throw them here at the end. I'll even take some pictures of my painted bikes from the other one in case you didn't see that from a previous video. And I'll have that up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, uh, click like, comment if you want to talk to me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Stork Plays Games so you can come play a game with me here in Indy. And I will see you guys next time.